Hi, this is a demonstration of Android local train ticketing system project. So this is a vast and innovative system that puts the entire ticketing process for local trains online. So it automates the way user can buy tickets and puts the system online. User can you know just buy tickets from his Android phone. He can select the source destination. The system shows the cost and then uh, deducts this cost from his balance in the railway account. Uh, it also allows the ticket checker to easily check the uh, you know the validity of the person traveling. So the user the user can just book the tickets online. He doesn't need to uh, you know stand in queues to take the ticket, and nor does he need to carry any uh, ticket with him. The as soon as the user books the ticket online, it is uh, stored in the database, and when he's caught by the TC, he just has to mention his uh, transaction ID for that particular ticket, and on entering this ID into his system, the ticket checker can check the validity of the ticket, whether it is valid or not for that particular date, time, and so destination. So let's see how the system works. This is the customer login or the user login in the user app. So this application will be provided to the user, normal users who travel through the trains. So we already have a user ID and password. This user ID and password is generated by the admin for every user. when the user first registers into the system that is a manual process we will be displaying it later so now since the user has logged in he can view his own details first this is the my details screen this is the menu here that's my details book ticket view ticket add balance and logout So now let's book a ticket. So this is the line type. This is the you know this is the designed as per Mumbai city. So and it can be edited as per the desired city as per your location. So let's select the source and destination for this particular city. And this shows the cost for that particular source and destination. We can select single and return ticket. The cost varies accordingly. So now, as you see, the user has booked the ticket and he's got a ticket ID 10017. So he just uh, needs to remember this ID or write it down somewhere. Or he can also view his ticket details later on using this ID. This is the add balance page. A user can recharge his account through this uh, page here. He just needs to enter his card details. An amount to recharge. So you can see it says balance updated successfully. So in his uh, my details page, you can see that the balance has been updated. So now let's log out. So this was the user app. Now let's go to the ticket checker app. This app would be used by the ticket checker to ease his work. So now let's log in. So let's use a login ID and password for a TC.
so after login suppose he you know catches a person and the person just needs to say is a ticket id and uh, ticket checker can enter the id here in his app and click on search so he gets the details of the user along with his image to check whether the same person is traveling or not and his details the ticket details so destination type and cost everything is updated here so this is how the tc can check the validity of a ticket and the user does not actually need to carry the ticket with him nor does he need to wait in queues for getting the ticket and even the work of a ticket collector becomes easier so this is the admin part now the admin has overall rights over the system and he can log in uh, through a computer or pc the system is uh, entirely online So these are various tabs. This is the register user tab. The admin can add new user into the system. This is the user who first time registers into the system. He is added by the admin. And the starting balance, whatever the person wishes to deposit, and even the image can be added by the admin. and after submission the details of the new user get registered into the system this is the add balance module you know your uh, any user who doesn't have a credit card can go to the admin or ticket window and you know just pay in cash and the admin will update his account for him get the desired amount So you can see it says balance added successfully. So you can check again. Even the user can check in his account whether the balance is updated. And this is the view transaction page. The admin can view various transactions, ticket transactions, and he can also filter these transactions by date by entering from and to date. for reporting purpose later on so this is how you can sort the transactions and filter them by date so this is how the advanced android local train ticketing system project works thank you